So here we are in the gear room with an Orbis ring flash. Let's take a look. So you pop it out of the pizza box that it comes in. It's got a drawstring bag to keep it nice and protected from any scratches it might get from the other equipment you've got in your bag. Shoulder strap and an instruction manual with basic and advanced tips. Now the Orbis is really easy to use and ready to go straight out of the box, but make sure you do read the instruction manual just so that you know you're getting the most out of it. Now I've been getting a lot of emails from people asking me what kind of uh, flash guns or strobes, uh, lenses and even cameras the Orbis works with. So I've got a little selection of equipment here, I'm just going to quickly talk you through it just so you can see how versatile the Orbis really is. So I've got a Nikon Speedlight SB800 here. I've got the popular Canon Speedlight 580 EX2. That goes in real well. I've got an older Nikon SB28. Perfect fit. And I've even got a old Sunpack 5000. And as you can see, that goes straight in there. So now as for cameras and lens combinations, it's much more important that the lens is actually all that it's about. The camera doesn't really matter, as you'll see. So I've got here a Nikkor 18-70 to lens. Works really nicely. Canon 16-35, to quite a common press photography photojournalist lens. Straight through there. And now I've got the daddy of the portrait lenses, the 70-200 to 2.8. And as you can see, perfect fit. And it works with the IS version, same with the Nikon, the 70-200 to VRs. Obviously quite a heavy combination I've got here, but what we find is that you can rest some of the weight on the lens tunnel of the Orbis. Makes no difference to the quality of the light that you get through it. And look, just to show you how versatile it is, I've even got a Speedlight 550 here, a little bit of an older lens from Canon. That fits really well, and I'm not even going to use an SLR. little Canon G10 compact goes really well.